Okay, now family, so this is the finished product. Camera girl, can you just shoot them up on it for me, please? Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. Are your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all <clears throat> to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. All you are new right on over here, special welcome to you. Thank you so very much. We thank you, we love, we appreciate, and we like the love, we love it. Those who are there, who were there with us from the beginning of the journey, and you're still there, so with me, manners and respect. Now today, this is, this thing is, the, this, this video today is definitely another contributory recipe to your Christmas dinner or your Thanksgiving dinner table. Well, you know, Thanksgiving is not like a big thing in Jamaica. Maybe some people who love America or something, and some people are Americans here and whatever. There are a few people do Thanksgiving, but it's not anything. It's not a Jamaican thing. It's not. Okay? So, if you want it for your Thanksgiving, but this is for Christmas. Now, we are going to do for you today some Barbie fried chicken. There is a video up where I did something similar to this with just wings. Now, I'm going to do all different parts of the chicken. Barbie fried chicken. It is barbecue fried chicken it should be but when they cut it short and say barbie fried chicken now this is a really it is a really loved chicken recipe in jamaica all cook shops all the local restaurants and all of that where you go to most days it's on the menu barbie fried chicken if you have come to jamaica recently or coming at any time gone by tell me Tell me something about if you have ever ordered barbie fried chicken or your family ever do it at home. Barbecue fried chicken. So we just cut it short. So it's a barbie fried chicken. This is chicken. I have my chicken here that has been seasoned. Please, family, season your chicken to your liking. Mine is seasoned with just scallion and thyme, garlic, and ginger and salt. That's the way I'm going. If you want to use your all purpose, do what you want to do. But please, nobody got too hard. No butcher it. It is barbie fried. Let me tell you how I'm going to do it, family. You're going to use your chicken. We're going to remove all these seasonings. You're going to have dried flour. And we are going to make a barbecue, homemade barbecue sauce. We are going to be, after we remove our seasonings, we are going to be seasoning our flour. Then we're going to be dipping this chicken in the flour. Lightly. Lightly, I'll show you. But I'm telling you what we're going to do. When you dip the chicken in the flour lightly, it enables the barbie sauce, barbecue sauce to hold to the chicken because we're going to remove the seasonings from the chicken. We're going to dip it into the flour lightly, the seasoned flour, and we're going to fry it at a, to a certain point, on, like almost to I eat. That frying that we are going to fry it. It's not to be fully cooked. It's not going to fully cook it. It is to remove the excess liquid, like the juices from the chicken. Because we know when we put barbecue sauce on it and put it all over, when you go ready and take the thing ready, barbecue sauce and one open water, water. That's not how it goes. It's supposed to come out of the oven with all the barbecue sauce whole to it, thick and nice. That's what it is supposed, that is how it's supposed to come out. So this flour will enable it when it's fried and cool. It will enable that thick barbecue sauce that is made to cool to the chicken and come out nice. You will see. Let us proceed. Now, <clears throat> all I have in my flour here is salt, pimento powder, and I'm going to put in a little coriander powder. And I'm going to repeat myself again. Season to fl your flour to how you like it. Do what you want. If you want to do like I do, I will leave for you in the description of the video. Now, this is like a small amount of chicken. I'm going to demonstrate to you what I want you to do if you like it. Take this recipe, run along with it, start toying around with it in your kitchen and play around. I'm going to do for you when it comes nearer to the holiday. 
I'll go to L3 of this same chicken. So I want you to take this small amount, go and start three or four pounds of chicken, start to dabble around and play around with it, shove it in your oven, and let me know in the comment section how it come out. I'm doing this small amount, but when we are nearer to the holidays, I'll give you another version of this in a go to L portion, a big tray, and show you how you treat it. Let's proceed. Now to this flour. <clears throat> now this chicken is supposed to come out with a nice, pretty, dark brown, pretty looking reddish color. Caribbean people, we don't love our meat come out white. We don't like our meat finished with a whitish looking color. I swear to God, if I'm lying, please say something in the comment section. Caribbean people, no stuff for meat if you have color. So, I'm putting a little paprika to do my flour. I'm going to be hopping my flame a bit right here. So I have my oil, not fully deep fat fried, a little less, and I have my casserole here. I'll show you how I'll proceed. Now when I come back, my oven will be preheated, soon come. Okay now family, I've removed all my chicken from my seasonings. You can't use it, all these seasonings must be removed. And you know you don't use this again. So this out of the way. Now I'm going to proceed to dust my chicken. You have got to use your hands, lightly. I'll show you. I'll show you how you do it lightly. You don't want a lot of flour on it. So you're gonna dust it like this. You, you see what I'm showing you? You just dust it lightly. And your oil should be properly heated. I'm not sure if mine is properly heated. So let me just dust these in the meantime. I'm just showing you. Do not you do not press on. No. Just dust it lightly. You know, one will put flour upon it. Eh? So we are going to finish dust off these whilst our oil is being preheated and return. Okay, now family, and you notice we color up the flour of this little, the like yellowish color, it is the paprika. So try to keep one hand clean and, and our chicken, all our chickens have been dusted lightly and you shake the excess flour. Your thing is supposed to be well hot and you be careful, don't crowd it. So we can put these in a, this in about two batches. So you do not overcrowd your pot. So we're going to fry those to a certain mention and we are going to return to you. Yeah, as, as I said it before, we have our casserole here. We're going to be frying this up and then I'm going to go wash my hands. And when, when I return, whilst those are frying, we'll proceed to start preparing the barbecue sauce. Yeah, family. So we chicken over here being fried up, being fried up. And I tell you, this frying process is to you know, get some of the excess juices out of the chicken. Eh? Once also to get a little color. So we have it here, frying. We are quite ready to try it. One is fry, get a little, you know, more color than that. So you're gonna have another platter or plate or something. As soon as each piece is fried, you remove it and leave it right there. Okay. Now we are gonna proceed. We are riding and whistling. Whilst that is frying, we are gonna proceed to prepare this homemade barbecue sauce. And lest I forget, a lot of people were saying in the comment section they would love to know where to get these to buy. But you know what happened? Yours truly, yours truly made these. I didn't purchase them. You can get them to buy, but yours truly made these. And yours truly, your girl here, David on yard, have uploaded on the Jamaican David, which is my second channel. A tutorial showing you how you make them and what you do and how you make them. Go check it out. My other channel, that is the last video that I've uploaded there. The tutorial to make these in your kitchen is uploaded there just for you. When you go there, you may just want to subscribe. Why would you not want to subscribe? Let's get back to barbie fried chicken in person. Now, you have to be riding and whistling. Okay, because you're frying out these chicken at a certain thing. You want to get them a little darker than this, a little more. You notice the flour, cool, and it has a crispiness to it. Okay, now we are going to proceed to do the barbecue sauce. So, therefore, this chicken will be having a lot of flavors, lots and lots of flavors in there to burst in your mouth. And how we are going to prepare it will be so juicy, so you will see. Because huh? we have the seasoned the season chicken. We have the Caesar flour and now we have start out the barbecue sauce. Now you're going to need some barbecue sauce of your choice. This is original, so we're going down for all of this. Now if you're, if you're using more chicken, you know, 
you know you'd have to use more barbecue sauce eh? and that is why i said i'm going to show you now we're going to use a little water because we need a little extra and sometimes it's kind of done now so we can now we don't know a little poor piece of thing we have to shake do you shake your bottles do you do this let that stay now you're going to need some brown sugar if you don't want to use brown sugar you could use honey honey is good it would give it that smooth smooth thing so you're going to be putting in this is about two tablespoons or two and a quarter tablespoons of brown sugar in there you're going to need some Worcestershire sauce mm -hmm. and if you have other sauces you're going to keep the sauce on the brown side okay you're going to need some soy sauce I remember soy sauce is as in salt you're gonna need a little vinegar and we put the brown sugar in here because of the vinegar okay oops we want to give this thing a nice little spice so if you have your pepper sauce so I'm using some red pepper flakes we give up this a little bit and also gonna be great thing a peg of garlic and you can add your other little things in where you want to do you know do your thing in i told you do in your kitchen play around in your kitchen okay so we are riding a whistling we'll soon be ready to remove these i'll show you how you, and when you are to do it we're not quite ready yet let it go a little more So now you want to come because this sauce must be thick. You want to mix until you get all the brown sugar. My oven there, if you saying to me, Debbie, I am fully preheated now and we are on 175, we have preheated the oven. So it is saying that that deep sum, Debbie, my fully preheated, me ready for anything you have to put on me. Okay, this is what you have. Now you want to taste. This is where you want to see if you get the gig at the barbecue sauce. If you want a little more sugar, you want a little more whatever, you're going to taste. And of course, for a woman to me, you're supposed to know so you don't want nothing more. The barbecue sauce is there with that flavor there. A little, kind of slight little saltiness from the soy sauce. Eh? Yes, a little pepperiness from that ghost pepper flavor. Oh yes. And we're gonna put in this little rest what we have because let me tell you something we're gonna bring this to a boil and turn it on low to come together okay let's go over here now now this piece is ready we're gonna drain it so you fry them at that Don't fry them, let them get too dark because they are going to be coated with the barbecue sauce and the barbecue sauce must be thick as we are going to cook it to cook. Okay, we are going to fry this piece a little more. Now that that is happening, we are going to put our barbecue sauce right here on our flame. So, bring it to a boil on medium or near to high and constantly stirring it constantly stirring it we want everything to come together we want that niceness to come together so it is where it is and this is the color that we have therefore this is going to be the color of our chicken we're going to go now okay you're going to we're leaving our barbecue sauce to come to a boil stirring it constantly when i come back i'll show you we're going to go finish from our chicken when you see us next we'll have our casserole bin um grease Please to grease your casserole and let it get a little preheat before you put it in there. Okay, you don't want the chicken to stick, right? So we are gonna when you see us back our barbecue our casserole will be greased, our sauce will be finished and slightly cool, and our chicken will be fried up. We'll proceed to show you how we are gonna coat this chicken with this barbecue sauce, this homemade barbecue sauce. Leave them in the oven to bake. Okay, now family, we cook off a barbecue sauce. And we left it to cool. It's not, you know, it's like barely warm. And we fried off the chicken and we left it to cool. I want to show you something. Remember, I told you that we wanted to fry the chicken to a point. These chicken are not fully cooked, no, you know. But we left them on the platter. Within, when you fry off your chicken and put it on the platter, you know, if you have no water, I drain out of the chicken. 
you are not supposed to have any excess juices draining out because that is going to go now to mess with this okay so you have to fry them at a at a certain to a certain point that when you leave if you see you fry then you take it out and you put it on there and you see water drain and put it back and fry it a little more that is the trick and that is gonna leave this video here it's gonna lead me to another video with the baked chicken that I done earlier. But we're not ready for that, the tour there yet. Let's proceed. We want to get some of the barbecue sauce out. Look at this. We have a left little car. Look here. We have some people in our family then. Loba gravy, yeah? If you have people in your family love only for gravy, come in. Loba gravy? Oh, no gravy, you know. Mm, gravy. Look at this now. Come now. So remember, you know, they tell you say you must make it the chicken cool and you must make the sauce cool. Not the much non drip, so you shake it and you put it there. Alright, next patient, come on here to me. You don't know, say, so you don't see you next in line. Why well, you're moving around and shuffling around and carrying on and going in on. Why well, you're going in on like that? These are ties. And look here. Please cut the chicken. You nobody know, cut them like when we're that country, I play Dali house and we want the meat for share. Okay? So, this is how you want it. You see how the sauce stick to it? No, and I must tell you. We put um, a tablespoon of butter in the sauce. I did not remember to, and I did it off camera. I just remembered. Put a little um, um, butter in there when you're boiling the sauce. It will, when the chicken is, when, it, when it's finished, you'll see the sheen that it has. Look at this. So you want to put it there now. Remember our tray is greased? We did that. I did tell you that I will be doing that. So we did that. Okay. So look at this. Well, let's put this we could put the skin side down but it doesn't matter so we're gonna finish these now and we soon come okay now family 180 well preheated well mellow okay so we're going to put it in there now hmm? right in in the, in the middle and look here you see my oven from me the breast chicken right here and i clean it at the family i love clean oven you know do you like to clean oven i hate cleaning the oven if you love to clean your oven please comment so 180 properly preheated oven oven melon or oven ready 20 to 25 minutes time the most depending on your oven you know if you have a fast oven you might have to go 15 or 18 minutes but this oven it is on the side of a turkey really slow so i'm going for about 25 minutes at 180 when we return barbecue chicken should be right inside your face and we are gonna guess what we are gonna see all the thing look eh? okay now family so this is the finished product Camera girl, can you just shoot them up on it for me, please? This is what you want it to look like. That's the color. And if you notice, it's hot. It just came out from the oven. If you notice inside the casserole, let me show you. We just have them. See them? They're not, they're not, they're not stuck to the casserole. My oven just went off. You heard me? You heard it. You, you heard it. Okay. And everything is together. And there is no water running. Okay? I'm going to serve up a piece of this thing for you. So I'm going to use the breast, I'm going to take a piece of the breast and I'm going to serve it up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be like slicing it like a bit, not all the way through, you know. I hope we can get it and this is knife is broad. Oops, family. Oops. Why am I making such a mess? We have a mess going on right here. But that is how it's gonna be. We'll clean our board. So we got a nice piece of breast. Send me slice there for you. And all you need to do is your extra barbecue sauce. You just take it, put it all over it. Put it to your liking. Let me present to you. I right, some people love enough gravy, you know. Enough of this sauce, and this sauce is the thing. It is this thing is a bomb. So you need a lot of this. Let me present to you. And what you eat this with? Rice and peas, white rice, a nice fresh vegetable salad. Don't play a banana. From my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, and most of all to your Christmas dinner table, it is the Jamaican favorite, the ultimate Jamaican barbie fried chicken. Please do enjoy. Now, if you have liked this video, 
And you have to thumbs up the video them. You know say so you have to share them. And you know most of all you're supposed to subscribe. You're not, well, you're not supposed to leave without your subscribe after this one. Okay, when you do subscribe, remember to hit the notification bell. When you slap that bell there, you say what you want to say in the comment section. And remember, some principle and some decency, we strive for that right here on the Jamaican cooking journey. And that is how you're going to be a member of the post notification crew. That is how we're going to shout out your name. To sh you, you showed us. That is how you show us that you're on the journey. And that is why we shout out your name. Now today's post notification shout out, it goes to Sheppy Bradshaw and also to Joshua Gabriel. They were like right there on point. Sheppy and Joshua, I know how to eat this. I'm no one that love this, you know. Okay? Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you, thank you so much. Remember that we have our PayPal donation button up on the channel. We have got our P.O. box now and all of that and all of that. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for your support. Keep your notifications on. It's Christmas. Debbie from Dunga Yard. Bless. No stress.